Yo, what is going on guys here? My name is Exposal Man and today I got for you a Clash of Clans video. What we're going to be talking about today is a new Clash of Clans defense that I think should be implemented to the game. This is just a concept video, so if you guys aren't into anything like this, you can go ahead and leave the video right now. But what we're going to be talking about today is a concept that I believe should be implemented into the game. I think it will make the game more enjoyable, a lot better, and uh, it will kind of balance out the game a little bit more. So the thing I have, the concept I have, is a healing tower and you're probably thinking what the heck a healing tower um that's pretty ridiculous you know or you're probably thinking oh interesting interesting for all those guys that are thinking interesting i'm gonna try to persuade the guys who don't think it's interesting so basically what it's supposed to do we're gonna show a diagram right about now where uh here's the kind of like photo of what it should look like it's gonna heal a radius of i'd say anything around it kind of like the valkyries how the valkyries go ahead and they uh, they attack a radius around it. They attack a radius of uh, defenses around it, and uh, they do de damage to multiple targets. That's what I think the healing tower should be like, um, as you guys can see in that little picture right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and flip over to another picture where I go ahead and show you basically the radius it should have. It's anything that's directly in the radius of it. You know, whether whether it be a wall, whether it be multiple walls, whether it be uh, just four, you know, troops or defenses. That's what it's going to try to heal. Now, one thing it can't heal, it cannot heal a town hall. It cannot heal uh, multiple walls at one time, I'd say. I'd say something like that. We're going to have those kind of rules. Uh, we're going to go over the rules in just a little bit. But basically, that's what the effect to it. It's not going to have an exuberant amount of healing power. We're going to go ahead right now and show you basically the healers themselves. Um, so as you can see, they do about a 55 heal points of damage. I think that should almost be translated because as you guys can see right here, your wizard towers, um, they're a lot different. Um, your wizard towers, let's look at these. The hit points are, have, you know, they're about uh, 750, 790, 790, about 800. Uh, those are your less, they don't, they take a little bit more to take down apparently. Um, as you can see right here, this is 890. Um, mortars might be around the same. Yeah, it's even less. Uh, but something like a air defense, that's going to be a heck of a lot more. That's 1050. So I think something along the lines of like 50, only healing about 50% uh, of on the things radius around it. Um, that that should be a, that should be the cause right there. Another thing that I think should be implemented, if you do implement a, wiz a healing tower, is basically. You could choose just like the Inferno Tower. You can do one target or multiple targets. So maybe one target, you d you give it mm, let's say 75 hit points, and then multiple targets only get like 25 hit points. So basically, uh, you depend on what you want to do. Uh, we're gonna try to balance that out, just like the Inferno Tower. But the Inferno Tower, the multiple attacking is really quite beneficial and that's the one that everyone pretty much uses now so maybe a single one uh, is not in the looms you can't do it to where um it obstructs maybe one troop from attacking something so maybe a troop is trying to attack this bad boy right here this dark elixir um and it can't go ahead and destroy it because the healer is keeps healing it i guess that brings a whole new aspect to the game um, it still should be considered a defense in my opinion. So basically it is a defense still. Defensive minor troops should go after it first. Maybe there should be things that actually go after healing things. Maybe uh, new traps are going to be involved that heal. Maybe if they, they someone bounces over a trap that's on this air defense, um, it'll heal the air defense. Something like that. So new healing tactics throughout a defensive minded I think that would be pretty interesting to see I'm not 100% sure if it would be successful but I think it would be pretty cool to see um, some bans and regulations that should be acquired if this ever does make it or happens to make it is you cannot have it heal too much because if you have it heal too much then it just becomes an overpowered tactic or just something that stalls and doesn't allow for people to actually three star what we're trying to get is to where a skilled player can't three star a base but not everyone can three star base so it's, you're still allowing uh for both sides to be equally matched up that's what we're the overall goal is for uh for this game right now so basically right now it's pretty balanced out you know i'd say uh you know it's almost there 
Um, defenses are a little bit strong. As new troops come out, I think there will be uh, a more, a stronger, a little bit stronger of a push for three stars. I think three stars are kind of hard to come by. But uh, maybe this can be implemented in a Town Hall 11 when the Town Hall 11 comes out. It's not something that's meant to be overpowered. Just something that allows for a new aspect in the game. Because the game is getting quite redundant with all the just the, the main things. We're trying to get it to where there's more strategy involved. I think uh, the more kind of unique kind of troops or defenses you can, you can put in, uh, the, the more unique strategies you can have. And the game can be a little bit more strategic. So... Uh, that's just my point right there. I think uh, it'll add a sense of strategy. I actually have quite a few of these uh, little concepts in mind. I may keep slowly uh, pouring them out. Basically what I did, I'm going to veer back off to the picture right about now. Uh, and here's the picture right now. Basically what I did to design is I used a wizard tower, lightened it up, put a, uh, a healer on, and uh, found a little image right there. I think it, like a Chinese, uh, Chinese something. So basically... Uh, that's pretty much it all right there um, There's not too much about it uh, If you guys have any suggestions on what you could do to make this healing tower Please put in the comment section below or follow me on Twitter at xbuzzerman and tweet at me any suggestions you have on this particular thing I know a lot of you guys probably were disappointed with the video because it's not like an actual new defense It's just a concept in the waiting. I know a lot of people have suggestions and thoughts about that there's just uh there's a lot to go around about so basically we're going to go ahead show you, tell you the rules do a quick overview or summary of what just happened the goals of it what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to allow for more people to uh to balance out the game or just to make it more strategic the game uh no adding a new sense of healing into the game so uh, that would be kind of cool um, number two, the other goal. Okay, guys, so I had to go ahead because I like took a huge yawn right there and I didn't want that to be in the video. So basically, the, the, the number two reason would be just for the fact that a Town Hall 11 could be in the looms or in the works anytime soon. And hopefully, uh, that could be coming along with it. So there's a few suggestions, a few things that, that could happen. Um, the, the restrictions, can't heal it too much, can't have too many, I'd say about maybe one or two max, there should be one or two max of this uh, defense because um, like three or four that could get just a little bit annoying, so one to two max, the other thing is can't have it too healing powerful, can't have it to be, it has to be a defense in my opinion because these defensive minded troops have to be able to go after it. And then the last thing is it probably has to have about as much, uh, I'd say, hit points as a mortar. I, I think it needs to be even less, maybe five to 400 hit points. So it can be taken out relatively quickly uh, for other things. It only has a moment to uh, heal because it doesn't need to be healing all the time to constantly 24-7. Um, also, it's not allowed to heal the town hall, heal troops, maybe like your... Your uh, Clash of Clan, your, you know, your Clan Castle troops or your Barbarian King or Archer Queen. It's not allowed to heal things like that. Or uh, it's not really allowed to heal gold storages. Only defenses, let's, say, let's just say. Only defenses. Only, uh, you know, your mortars and things of that nature. So that's basically everything I have to say for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got a little bit of information out of this and uh, you were able to apply it. And maybe create a little suggestion. Let's go ahead and use the... Uh, not really a hashtag, but just go ahead and give me your opinions on what you think could should be for this because I'd like to hear all your opinions. This is a content video, so I'm looking for open-minded opinions. So go ahead, put a comment, comment in the comment section below on how you can improve on this idea. I'd definitely like to hear it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time and a later.